guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a huge stationery haul. Um, I've been shopping for the last week in Japan so I found some really awesome stuff and most of the shops I found um, in the Hello Sandwich book so if you're interested to know where I've been like finding them they're all in here and um, hopefully I'll link most of the shop names in the description box below but there are some that I just literally stumbled across so so unfortunately I won't be able to link those ones in the description so let's get started also um, sorry about the sound I am right next to a train track so there's gonna be a train going past all the time so I might have to stop a few times um, so let's get started and I'll show you um, I'll start with my favourite ones first. So, these two little guys came from a really small shop um, and I was at the Autumn Festival so I don't even know um, where it's from unfortunately. But there is a name on the packaging so I'll just put that name in the description box. So, these are little badges. So, I've got badges as well as stationery but I think that kind of ties in with the category. And... They are so cute. So this little guy is an ice cream, but he's got a, the ice cream has a face and legs, and it's like a little ice cream man sitting on top of the cone. I love him so much. And also this guy is a little ice cream, but he's like a floating ice cream head, and he's got like his little bathers and a little straw. Um, these were handmade, so they were quite expensive. They were ten dollars each, but I couldn't put them down, so. I'm going to put these on a little backpack or a little handbag, so <gasps> kawaii! <laughs> so I'll get all the stationery that came from shops that I don't know about done first. Um, I know that's really annoying that I can't give you names, but these two I found at like a little vintage store. So this one looks like really old um, stamps, but they're not stamps, they kind of look like stickers but the shape of stamps. I have no idea what this is. And this one's a little book and um, it also looks kind of retro. So I think I'm going to frame this one. I've got a whole bunch of retro stuff that I think I'm going to frame and put on my wall. So I love that one. This one was around $3 and this one was around $3. So these two together were around $6. So this little one here was also a shop near the Autumn Festival. So again, I don't know where it's from, but um, you could probably find this around Tokyo, it's very popular. And it's a little Astro Boy badge, and when you flick it, it changes to Astro Girl. Um, yeah, so I think you'd be able to find these ones around, but I really like my badges, and I'm going to collect weird Japanese badges. So this one's $2.50. All right, now all the rest of the stationery, I know where it comes from, so I can give you names and addresses. So um, I'll start off with this one. So this big bag here is all Heidi. Um, and there was some really cool stuff here because um, it was all, I think, handmade or designer. So I got two washi tapes and I love this one. This one is like this really weird stripy cat and it kind of reminds me of a cat out of Alice in Wonderland. And this one kind of looks really whimsical and like a dream and it's this girl um, riding a horse. And there's like animals flying as well, so I really like that one because it's so different. The next thing is this little handmade pencil case, and I just loved the design so much. So I had to get that one. It was only um, ten dollars, so I thought that was really good. Um, these two were about four dollars. Um, this next one, I just really liked this design. It had beautiful characters all through it. Um, and this one was about $3.50. And this last one, again, is just really beautifully designed. I love this kind of design. It kind of looks hand-drawn. Um, this letter set was $4.50, so it even comes with the envelopes as well. It's in the same town as the Traveller's Factory, so um, if you're going to go to the Traveller's Factory, I highly recommend to go to Heidi if you like kind of handmade looking things. found this kawaii rabbit store. So these are all in my vlogs if you want to see um, the actual stores, but it's called Rabbit Department um, and it just had the most beautiful postcards. They're just so quirky and unique. I liked them so much just because of how different they looked. 
So this is a little snail girl. We've got the little Alice in Wonderland, little frog people. I like this one so much. And a little boy and a, I think it's a deer behind him. So just the colors of these, like the pastel colors, I just fell in love with. So I had to grab those ones. So I'll do the Travels Factory next since we're kind of doing stuff from the same area. And um, the Travelers Factory, I think it's well known around the world. Um, they have beautiful stationery uh, based around traveling. So they've got lots of like traveling notebooks and um, yeah, just everything's like travel related. They've also got a little stand inside where you can write your own letter and you can use all, a lot of their products. They've got lots of stamps and stuff. So I actually stamped all these envelopes um, so every single one of them is stamped. I just thought that gave it a really cool effect um, to have all stamps all over instead of plain craft. Um, I also stamped this little notebook here. So um, I might collect stamps in this one. I started collecting it in my own travel journal that I've got. But um, I might actually use this one as just a stamp book because they've got so many places where you can just collect stamps in Japan. Okay, so the next couple of things I got, I got these really cute postcards. Um, the next thing I got was all these little, um, they look like little train stubs, so, but they look like old ones. Um, these were about Charles 50, so I'm going to collage with them. And then these ones are little like tags, like I guess you could just use them as like little tags in um, pen paling letters or I think I'm going to scrapbook with these, that's why I got two of them. And these were uh, about a dollar, about two dollars. So super cute, so it says, Has it, have a nice trip for all the travellers who have a free spirit. I have to like pause it every minute because that train keeps going past. But lastly from the Travelers Factory I got some washi because I love my washi and I'm probably going to get washi everywhere I go. But again they were just travel related. The top one has like the train line um, little symbols and the bottom one has like a picture of a long train. So Itoya and Loft. Um, yeah, again I think they're a chain store but I've seen a lot of them around so you could easily get stuff from this. So if we start with this one, this is actually one of the first places I went to get stationery. Okay, so I got some beautiful autumn postcards and because this is my autumn Japan trip I wanted to remember it with some beautiful autumn stationery because they've got lots of Halloween and autumn stationery at the moment so I thought I'd pick up a few. Um, and they're just really beautiful designs these ones. So pumpkins and cats and like autumn leaves and like autumn fruit and vegetables so um, I just thought they were cute to pick up to remind me about the autumnness of Japan if that makes sense <laughs> that didn't make sense at all so I got these really cute washies so the top one is um, like little letters and pens and it really matches the theme of pen pally and then there's a cute adorable little lambs in between and the bottom one of these um, little houses and got autumn trees running throughout so again uh, I wanted to pick up some autumn stationery and loft had oh I, I loved loft so much I got again another one of these little kawaii books they look very retro like you would use in primary school because they're very cute and colorful this just screams Japan when I see this so I had to grab that one. I also got this amazing Minnie Mouse washi. It's golden so Minnie is actually this golden um, pattern all the way through and it's just so beautiful when it catches the light and I just love that. Like I don't buy a lot of Disney stuff but this one just looked so pretty. And lastly I got these cute cat stickers because they're little, they look like little stamps and I thought these would be so cute on the little envelopes I send to people. So yeah, that was really cute. Alright and lastly I went to Sublo 36. Again this is a really small shop and you have to go up these little stairs so you can definitely walk past this and not even know it's there. So. Um, you might have to use like Google Maps or the Japan travel um, navigation guide to try to find your way there because I walked past it like two times trying to find it. The first thing I got was this adorable little postcard um, and it's kind of like a cross between like a horse, elephant, 
thing. I have no idea what it is. I just thought it was super cute and different. Um, like when you're in Japan, why not get weird stationery? Um, and it's got like these little ducks sitting all over it. So love that so much. It was about $1.50. Uh, the next thing I got was this really weird sticker. Um, it's a guy massaging a cat's arm. And then there's a little arrow down here that says, Kotowazazu. So I think that's the place that when I was at, I'm not 100% sure. I just thought that was such a cute sticker. Um, $2 for that one. And I got this little memo pad. And it's just got really quirky um, drawings all over it. Again, I might write little notes and send it off when I send my stationery. But I just thought that was so adorable with all its um, unique little um, designs throughout it. And lastly is probably one of my favourite washies I got. It's just so weird. Again, I think it might be from the design, same designer. I'm not 100% sure. But it was from the same little section in the stock shop. Um, this little washi I think was about $5 because um, it was so unique and it's like these animals just laying flat on the ground like with their arms like um, kind of like planking it was so funny and there's like little food, food throughout as well and there's like a mix between animals and humans it's just so funny I love this so much and that is all my stationery for today. I'm so happy with everything I've bought so far. Um, I reckon I've spent about $150 on stationery. That's my absolute limit. Um, well, okay. <laughs> so I probably spent like $130. I've got a limit of about $150. I haven't really done a budget yet, but um, I still got to do a Daiso stationery challenge video with another YouTuber so that's coming up in the next few days it might be the next video after this one but we're going to do a stationery challenge I mean sorry not a stationery a pen pal challenge with the stationery buy from Daiso and we're going to compare Japanese and Australian Daiso stores so that's coming up I'd love to know what was your favourite stationery out of this haul. Let me know in the description box below. Um, give it a big thumbs up if you liked um, all the weird items I got today. See you guys in the next few days. Bye.